National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health describes chloroform as a colorless liquid that quickly evaporates into a gas. Other names for chloroform include trichloromethane and methyl trichloride. NIOSH also states that workers can be harmed from exposure as chloroform is toxic if inhaled or swallowed, but the level of exposure depends upon the dose, duration, and work being done. Chloroform was once used as an inhaled anesthetic for surgeries, as an extraction solvent for fats, oils, greases, and other products, as a dry cleaning spot remover, in fire extinguishers, and as a fumigant. Today, NIOSH reports that it is used in some refrigerants, solvents, and chemical manufacturing. It is also released from pulp and paper mills, some hazardous waste sites, chlorinated water, and certain landfills. Some examples of workers listed by the agency that could be at risk of exposure to chloroform include workers involved in paper manufacturing or the recycling industries, service employees exposed to some air conditioner refrigerants, equipment operators working at sanitary landfills, and workers employed at water treatment plants. The National Toxicology Program, run by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, lists chloroform as reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. California's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment added chloroform to the list of chemicals known to the state to cause cancer for purposes of Proposition 65 back in 1987 and for developmental and reproductive toxicity in 2009. In addition to cancer concerns, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency reports the major effect from short-term inhalation exposure to chloroform is central nervous system depression. Long-term exposure to chloroform by inhalation in humans has resulted in effects on the liver, including hepatitis and jaundice, and central nervous system effects, such as depression and irritability. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry reports the public may be exposed to chloroform by drinking water or beverages made by using water containing chloroform, breathing indoor or outdoor air containing it, especially in the workplace, eating food that contains it, and from skin contact with chloroform or water that contains it, such as in swimming pools. These are just a few of the many things to know about chloroform and potential exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, air quality, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.